Hello everybody, Willpower64 here and bring you back to another part of Banjo and Kazooie. Last time, our sister Tootie has been kidnapped by none other than Gruntilda herself. And it's up to us to go and save her, and we have arrived in the Witch's Lair. This time, we're going to explore more of the Witch's Lair, and what are the better uh, what better place to go is up here! And we can't get up here. No matter how hard you try, you are not able to get up here. I don't know why I'm still trying, but I am. So where you want to go is actually over here. Climb up these little, I guess, platform column things, I guess? And we see something else gold, and whenever we see something gold, we grab it. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Not exactly sure what he meant by that, but we'll go figure it out. And I never really missed over the uh, awesome jingle little dancing thing, so not to worry about that. Coming over here. This is the entrance to the first world. But it's shut. But if we look over here, there's something over there. And it looks like there was some there looks like a picture with a piece missing. It really does sound quite absurd. An adventure of a barren bird. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing space with the jigsaw pieces. Yarp, we've got the first jigsaw piece, goggle boy. Great, to fill in the missing space on the picture. Press A if you want to use any jigsaw pieces. Press B to leave. Well, we're not going to do anything if we don't enter this world, so we might as well. That's it. The picture is complete, and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. And with that, we have access to the first world. Let's go! There are three new moves for you to learn in this world. Find my molehills, and I'll explain. This is Mumbo's Mountain. This is pretty much the generic first world. Coming over here, we see something else we can collect. I'm a note, one of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. I sound like I was gonna continue there, but I wasn't. Okay, so yes, these are notes. There are always a hundred in each world, so always make sure you, if ever you see a note, get it. As I should mention, um, actually, I will exp let me do one more thing before I go into an explanation of something. So I'm gonna come up here, and as, definitely as you saw it, there's this thing. Yippee, you saved me. Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiggy. I should mention, this will be a 100% run of, uh, well, I guess, uh, not really much of a run, because this ain't a speedrun. This is more of a 100% playthrough of Banjo and Kazooie. I'll be getting every Jiggy, every note, everything in this game. Go away! Leave my honeycombs alone! I got honeycombs and I'm low on health. I need them. Honeycomb, uh, I guess hives, will have three honeycombs in them. So if you're low on health, definitely go look out for these things if you can't find any more enemies. Coming up this way, um... We want to ignore that guy, and we want to come this way. Up here, we got another Jiggy! That's definitely something we want. You must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the Witch's Lair. When you're ready to leave this world, Return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. That'll be a bit of a helpful tip. Coming over here, we got bottles again. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she use it? Hold Z then press the left C button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice. 
The Talon Trot is going to be very helpful. Where the yay Kazooie can learn us to use as ammo. The Talon Trot makes it so you can go up steep slopes. We're seeing here. Keep sliding, use the Talon Trot, and I will stay. Very helpful. And we got some more notes, so we definitely want to collect these. Here, and we got a Jinjo! So you see that there are five. We got blue, green, orange, purpley, pink, and yellow. If you always want to know, you can always come to start, and it will show you which ones you have. The ones that with their eyes closed mean you haven't found them, and the one with the eyes open means you have. Now, coming down here, we found a mumbo, uh, mumbo thing. Me mumbo token, use for mumbo magic. Problem with, with me playing this game is I know everything, and I'm trying to be like, oh, this is something new, and I'm trying to explain it. But I'll get used to that. So coming over here, we got some more notes, and of course this is definitely a slippery slope. So we definitely want to collect these. Yippee! You've collected enough notes to break the first note door. Spell. Alrighty. So, you could leave if you want, but, um, best you don't until you find all the notes in this world. Just saying. Uh, I will explain why in a few minutes. Uh, we'll come back down there in a few minutes, but for now, um, I'm gonna take out these guys. These ants. Yes, ants are deadly enemies to Banjo and Kazooie. If you see an ant, crush it! No, I should, I should crush any ants. Coming in here... Hey, ugly! No bears allowed in Tinker's Tower! So I guess he must be Tinker. But we got a bit of a, a bit of a slippery side here, and we got mumbo tokens. Now, the catch is about this place. If you try going up, you will slide. You cannot. There is a way for you to get up there, but I, yeah, I'll, I'll pass on that. For now, we want to come over here. And over here, uh, definitely grab one of these. Come up here, and looks like we got a house. And we got this guy. Take this guy out. Uh, we'll go in that house maybe a little bit later, but for now, we want to go see uh, bottles. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air and press Z to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. So just as uh, Bottle said, come up here, press Z, and boom! Ooh, more notes. Definitely wanted to take that. So this will be uh, useful for multiple things, and of course, as usual, you can attack enemies with this too. Very, very nice. We got some blue eggs. As it was mentioned earlier, that these guys are used for ammo. We're gonna come up here, grab this mumbo token, and we're gonna grab this jiggy. Very, very nice. I do enjoy that little dance animation that uh, Banjo does. And we got an enemy in here. Let me see. Can I show it off? Yes, I can. Sweet. All right. Also, the Beak Buster has another good function, but I won't show it off just yet. Uh, we got a green ginger here. That's also very good. Over here, we've got the useless golden banjo statue. And what do we got in this one? We've got a jiggy. Awesome. Coming down over here, we got another slopery, slopery, slope area. Let's go see all these uh, notes that we got around here. We got another jiggy that is definitely going to be very, very helpful. So let's go grab that. Very nice. Now we come over here. Um, we got, we got more notes. And we got some more. Just gonna grab that. There we go. We got more notes. Uh, did I get the ones over there? Yes, I did. Now, if you come over here, there is a Jinjo. Definitely want to grab that, along with that Mobo token. And, as the Jinjo mentioned earlier, grab all five Jinjos, and you get 
the Jiggy of this area. Or you get a Jiggy from them, I should say. Okay, so with our um, new move, the Beak Buster, we want to come over here and go to that area I s pointed out earlier. So let's go over there. And uh, see what's up. Grrrr, this conga's tree, me hit bear with oranges. Now oh, that hurt. So, uh, looks like we got some switches. Don't touch conga's blocks. Okay, excuse me, blocks. And they got oranges on them. So what happens if uh, he hits them with an orange? Here, by the way, and there we go. Grrr, clever bear, fine conga's gold. Well, we want to come over here. And we got a little monkey here. <laughs> Chimpy hungry, want orange now. Feet Chimpy. Well, looks like he wants an orange. And, well, oranges are right here on this tree. And... Come on, there we go. We got one. Hey, that's Conga's orange. Put it back. Yum, oranges are nice. So there you go. He got his orange. Ooh, Chimpy like Conga's orange. Chippy help fat bear and bird. I don't know if to take that as an insult, but he did give us a jiggy, so I guess I will let it slide. Alrighty, so that makes seven jiggies. Going up here, um, we'll talk to bottles in a few seconds, but we want to come over here, get a mumbo token, that's very helpful, and we got this. This looks like, I guess, a block or a switch, whatever you like to call it, of Gruntilda's face. So, just like Gruntilda, just like that, push the switch, and we get a Jiggy on the top of uh, the entranceway. In every world, there is a Gruntilda switch. Hit them, and a Jiggy, or something that'll let you get a Jiggy, will appear in Gruntilda's lair. Coming over here, let's go talk to Bottles. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the eggs. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold Z, then press the top C button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure, press the bottom C buttons instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Yeesh, sounds painful. Wish I never asked. Bear Bird can carry a hundred eggs in her backpack. You can also use the control stick to aim while you're crouching. Exciting, huh? Yeah, the jokes are good here. Give us quick to practice with. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Alright, so that's all the three moves we can learn in this world. So you want to come up here. Be safe here. Bear can't hit Kunga. Well, don't be so sure about that. Fire an egg. And there we go. Yar! Egg hurt Conga. It's funny how a giant gorilla can get hurt by eggs. It's kind of funny. I find. Well, hit him one more time, and that's it. Rawr, bear beat Conga. We give prize to bear. So, three eggs can take down a gorilla. These eggs are powerful. I never really realized that, that three eggs can take down a gorilla. I just thought it would make the gorilla more angry. Okay, now that we know the ways of the eggs, I'm going to be saying that for the rest of the game, we're going to use the ways of the eggs. Man, I was about to say it wrong there. We want to come over here, back to where we saw that little house. We got this totem-like thing spinning around with its mouth open. We do do Mumbo's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. We don't have stones, but we definitely have eggs. And that didn't work. Come on. There you go. So you want to shoot eggs into their mouth. And you gotta make sure you're doing it right. That one? Now! Don't shoot that one and come up here. You will get an empty honeycomb piece. There are two in each world. Spire Mountain was the exception with six. With that, we got another Jiggy. Very nice. And we're up to nine. There's only one more. And the only place we haven't gone is in here. Waking the guy up. Let's come over here. Grab these notes. And why don't we jump 
on this. You'll always find something up top of these huts. Now let's say... Actually, before I say anything else, let's meet this guy. Yo, Me Mumbo, best shaman in game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hot boy! Mumbo magic tokens hid by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Ah, uh, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see mighty Mumbo magic. So let's press B and see what happens. Mumbo magic free to change back. You come when ready. Term might bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice needed. So, that was Mumbo Jumbo. He can transform you into multiple things. Now, he won't be in every world, I will say that. But whenever you see him, definitely go visit him and see what the transformation is. This world was a termite. So, the benefit of a termite... Hey, where'd you get those shorts? I want them. The benef <laughs> the benef the benefit of being this kind of ant is I get shorts and I've got a backpack, unlike the rest of them. The benefit of them is you cannot slide. You have amazing grip. Problem is, you can't get hurt. Give me that cool backpack or else. We appear to be missing three notes somewhere. I can only imagine where they can be. Let's see here. Up here we got some eggs. Don't worry about that. Uh, I think I'll pass for the rest. Let's come over here. And definitely want to go through this door. Coming out here, we got a pointless statue, which I seem to like collecting. We want to come up here. Whenever that plays, it means you collected all the notes, or all the, um, the jiggies in this world. So, as much as I want to say this world is done, ah, here we are. Uh, there was the three I forgot. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. But we're not done. You think, okay, we got all the jiggies, we got all the notes, what's there left? There's still one more honeycomb piece left. And this is probably the best way to get it. As a termite, come down here and grab it. Now you think, being an ant, I drown in the water, but nope, I do not. I can go completely underwater with no health meter. That's also helpful if you are uh, wanting to get those notes, but you're a little bit uh, worried with the whole swimming mechanic. So that's fine. Now, um, coming over here, we're going to leave this world. And you remember earlier I said um, those golden statues were kind of pointless? Well, this will explain why. Gruntilda's magic stops you from taking the notes off the world, but the hundred you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get a hundred on each world, as they are needed to open the note doors. What he means by that is, say you died, or, well now you died in the world, and say you had, I don't know, we'll say 50 notes. You will restart back at the entrance with zero notes. You would have to re- collect them all again, and whatnot. So, that's a problem about getting notes. Mumbo magic get weak, animal turn back, or magic go. Magic all gone, must go back to barren. But yes, that is a bit of a downfall I do not like. And it's pointless for the uh, golden statues. Like, if they revived you and brought you back where you right where you were, that's a whole different story, but no, you go right back to the start and you have to recollect all the notes again, along with the Jinjos. The Jiggies, no, but the notes and Jinjos, which is a bit of a bummer, but oh well. This is the note door, sealed by Grun Grunty with one of her powerful magic yeah, magical spells. <laughs> Open it then, Jam Jars! It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the words. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell, 
The combined total of all your best note scores from the world that must be at least to break Gruntilda's magic. So it says 50. We have well over that. We have twice that, actually. And there we go. Let's go on through. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. We'll see about that. And with that, I think we're gonna stop it here. So next time on Banjo and Kazooie, we will be exploring more of Gruntilda's lair and deciding on which painting picture thing we should go see first. I want that one. We're gonna go that one. Alrighty, so I will see you guys then. When you open a world and open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. See you guys then.